good day to all friends this is a video done by the dhammada newspaper buddhist newspaper and we keep on publishing uh, videos to enlighten you today we look at the benefits of buddhist morality there are many benefits of buddhist morality it is impossible to describe all of them in the short video anyway we are going to publish as many as possible to enlighten you so let me start with the first one buddhist morality develops an understanding how our mind works it is through morality that we understand the functioning of our mind how the thoughts may they be wholesome thoughts or unwholesome thoughts how they arise persists and then fade away unless you are following this path unless you are determined to follow buddhist morality you would not understand the nature of your mind it is an important factor developing an awareness how thoughts come and go this is also a very important factor thoughts come and go they do not remain forever so what does it mean the it means the impermanency the change in nature the impermanent nature of our thoughts so we should not be unduly bothered by unwholesome thoughts because of their impermanence same goes to the wholesome thoughts however compassionate and human they are they arise due to conditions and vanish when these conditions do not support them anymore the third factor understand how the mind of other people work through the understanding of your own mind it is the person who follows morality that uh, that explains how your mind works and that brings an awareness how your mind works understands the functioning of other people's mind how their mind work so through you you want to you uh, develop an awareness about other people how they react so this is an important factor striving to control or remove unwholesome thoughts as they arise now here is a factor is very important because it is the person who strives to uh, control one's thoughts because of his uh, moral path he or she is able to remove whatever the unwholesome thoughts that ever is the person who does not try cannot do it it is this moral path that makes you strive for that purpose so this is an important aspect of buddhist morality and you should also uh, understand why it is called a buddhist morality because here the faith objects are the buddha the dhamma and the sangha 
so as benefits start coming to your mind you attribute them to buddha dhamma and sangha especially to dhamma and your faith in dhamma increases when your faith in dhamma increases you investigate more and more dhamma and gets more and more benefits leading you to the path of enlightenment so this is a very important thing uh, one must differentiate between the social morality the moralities of many other religions as well as the difference between them and the buddhist morality which is uh, focused on the faith of buddha dhamma and sangha and which helps you to gain more and more uh, wisdom and through this wisdom it will be beneficial for your uh, spiritual path learning to suppress akusala thoughts yeah now most people they do not uh, strive for morality therefore are unable to suppress their thoughts it is the disciple who is determined to tread on the path of morality that uh, enables enables him to suppress whatever akusala Uh, thoughts that have arisen, unknown some thoughts that have arisen, to control unknown some deeds and words. Without a motive, this suppression, this uh, control would not come to you. becoming aware that they could be suppressed by our own effort this is a very important factor here the disciple the adherents learn to acknowledge one's own uh, ability you do not do not uh, credit it to a superhuman power it is you who control yourself so this is an important factor to develop self control uh, through this method and uh, it is very important for your uh, self confidence so we have examined some factors in our next a video we are going to examine and uh, analyze many other factors or benefits that are brought to you by buddhist morality thank you very much for listening